So I am 48 years old. No, I'm 49. I have never, ever, ever driven a car onto a ferry. Hi, buddy. Hi. Hi, hi, hi. Go say hi to Greg. Hmm. Ooh, nice catch. Who's Derek? That's good. He's like, what are you doing? <laughs> That's how he works. He works in a bicycle helmet. He's had problems. Yeah. <laughs> All the way across the country. Do they give us life vests? No. We are in beautiful Victoria, British Columbia, and we're not only at Wildwood Outdoor Living Center, but we are at Wildwood Waterscapes to meet Mike, who is a local certified aquascape contractor, longtime certified aquascape contractor out here. Here he is. This is his retail shop. Now, not too many contractors have a nice dig like this. This is a pretty impressive yeah. place, right? Yeah. Let's go check out the displays. Right here is a, a display. So this is a really cool relationship. So you actually partner with a garden center. They do the garden center stuff, and then you're the, the prime contractor that does all the bills. Exactly. And you have this displays inside and outside here, right? And this is our main display. We built this just to kind of show off some of our creativity. So a lot of your clients might come here to see the different options that they could have, and then it works out well because they sell plants. Yeah, you get yeah. the plants from them, you yeah. build the ponds, and you also have an office here, right? Yeah, this is where our main office is. So how often are you actually in the office yeah, within the field? Very little. Okay. It's about one day a week, yeah. The rest okay. of the time is out in the road. All right, well, let's check the rest of the displays out. So look at it, right here in the middle. I mean, if you want to know about water, here it is. And what I love about this is your customers can come seven days a week to check out your displays. That's right. Because they're public displays. Yeah. And that is a big event for our customers that they can always find us. This is my second or third time here. Every time I, it's a fun time because I'm in a beautiful island. This is fantastic. It's going to be a lot of fun today. So I love this, so you can actually just show people what it looks like before you put it in the ground. So you got an architectural uh, stack wall here, you got some bowls that out, you got Mongolian basalt rocks. You can actually teach do-it-yourselfers how to do it as well, right? They can buy the products and leave. What is very unique about us is that we can bring people through here. If they decide they want to do it themselves, we can give them the tools they need and they can go ahead or yeah. they can have us do it for them. Look at aquatic plants down here. I love it. This is what you can't get on the internet. You can't get places that are passionate like this that have fish and plants and all of these displays. It's terrific. Try to uh, price tag a lot of our smaller features. Yeah. So if there's no questions for clients, they can come right in, have a look at stuff. We can see right away if what it costs to buy it themselves yeah. and what it costs for us to put Do it, it yourself. In. Absolutely. So up here we have all of our little aqua basin features. So um, whatever fountain scape you pick, that's right. You'll know what it is, what it costs. You know the prices. Yep. Exactly. Yeah. So twenty eight hundred dollars installed. Yeah. Thirty five hundred. We actually left the prices very similar to what uh, you guys have actually Absolutely. published them at, just so that people are looking around. There's no amb ambiguity. This is the pond I want to visit. I want to swing off of that swing. It's I've actually swung off that swing. It's pretty awesome. So this is good. So the customer can sit up here. I love this bench. So very impractical couch. <laughs> but you know we wanted to really show off our creativity. Yeah. Of what we can accomplish. And then how Aquascape makes money is we sell products. So for do-it-yourselfers or for uh, professionals alike, we have all of our products. And this is basically how Aquascapes makes money is selling to retailers and contractors that buy our products.
And let's say hi to the cameraman, Gord. Hey. Gord, you hey. live 15 minutes from here. Yep, not even. And you actually got with Aquascape because you worked here, right? I started here at 19 years old doing deliveries. <laughs> and you kind of gravitated towards the water feature side and then... You know what? I didn't know a thing about it. It was a full-time job. And the, uh, the, the delivery driver position was part-time. So that became available and I didn't know anything about it, but I thought, hey, I'll figure it out. And this is year 17 for you? Aquascape, yeah. Fun. We're going to have fun today, guys. This is your place and you and Mike are partners. He does the construction on the ponds yes. and you have the retail space and you yes. can sell the plants and the fish and everything Absolutely. else. And yes. You literally do have a partnership and, and it's been going on for how long? I think it's a little over 10 years or right around 10 years. Uh -huh. But what's nice about it is that when the guys are here, we're a full stock shop, right? Right. You have do-it-yourself for prices, you have install prices and whatever the customer wants. Exactly. And it's great that the staff know that because they can work backwards and forwards. Right. You know, you're not talking to somebody who's just pulling information and doing it themselves or vice versa where they're you know looking for someone to do it and you don't have the right information so it, it's a great partnership that we love when retail operations partner up with certified office game counters it's the best of both worlds you know one hand feeds the other yeah. you support mike mike supports you and it's a great relationship for the consumers win 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 all the way around so this is your yard huh this is our yard not bad and this is your guy Derek. Lay on the horn. What's up, how Derek? Doing, how you doing, man? Bad, so, Derek, how long have you been with Mike now? Oh, we're we coming up three years, I think. Okay. And what do you love about your job? Love building ponds. Hey, man. Being love outside. Love the water. Love the sound of water. So, my channel is about living the Aquascape lifestyle, and today we're going to see some awesome Aquascape ecosystem water features from Mike at Wildwood. This is going to be a fun day. Let's go out and get after it. They already had an existing koi pond. It was actually pretty nice, but it needed some help. It was always cloudy and algae filled, so we put a uh, wetland filter in for them. Were you renting property before you built it for them? Yeah, we've been renting here for almost eight years now. Oh, really? Nice. And ironically, just started the rain out here in beautiful Victoria. Look at this. Holy cow, that's big. So how long ago did you add the filtration to it? Three years ago. So is this the filtration system yes. here? Yes. All right, so this is a traditional koi filter. And what did it look like when they had only this and not the wetland on it? Because it's got a multiple chamber, right? Yeah. All the way down. We couldn't see any more than eight inches into the water. So once the fish dropped about eight inches, they just disappeared. But once we put the uh, wetland filtration in, I think within two, three weeks, it had cleared up completely. So the problem is that it's too small of a surface area. You probably quadruple that amount of surface area in the wetland. Yeah. You can either have a traditional filter that you have to hide, or you can have a wetland filter that you actually plant. So how does this work? Because I see you have the, the snorkel right so here. The main pump is actually pumping water into the centipede module, and then it's flowing up through a bunch of stones. Aqua blocks. Aqua blocks that back into the pond. This becomes your, your settling clean out chamber. Right, and then the plants love it because they're getting fed nutrients, so they just take off. And look at the size of some of these plants. Those cattails are as tall as you are. Look at this rock. Look at how natural this stone is. And just look at this landscape. I mean, just so incredibly lush and all the different textures. And I mean, even a palm tree here. How awesome is that? I love when a gardener has a water feature. And look at all the koi that are in this pond. Hi, Ann and Ed. So, how long have you had this koi pond for? A 10 years, a long time. <laughs> and how do you enjoy it? 
I've been for a swim with them on occasion. Nice, nice. I fell in. Oh. <laughs> and whose idea was it to get a pond? Oh, well, there's absolutely no work to them. We might as well have a pond. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's all the joke. I love people that still have a sense of humor. So many people have traditional koi ponds with traditional filters when the reality is that not a single traditional koi filter could keep up with a wetland filtration system because this entire area is a filter and no matter how big your filter is I mean that's that area right over there that they're standing on and it's gonna take maintenance it's gonna have to be cleaned it's gonna have to backwash that wetland filtration system once a year you clean it we are on our way to a ferry to cross over to Vancouver Island right yep but uh, this will be my first time driving a car Very exciting whoa how many cars does this hold? Maybe like 400, 450 cars. In there. It's big. So we're going where? Uh, we're going to go that way and then we're going to go through Active Pass. So we're going to go through all those islands. It's going to get cool. What is that mountain out I'm there? I'm pretty sure that's Mount Baker. Wow. Correct me if I'm wrong. Look at all of that snow. Okay, so that's in America, huh? Mount Baker, Washington. Yeah. And we have made it an hour and a half later onto Vancouver Island, right? Yep, great success. And now we get to see Mike from Wildwood Waterscapes. Here we go, just like that. <laughs> My first ferry ride in a car. All right, Gord, show me your office. <laughs> Come on in. I love the poster. This is the West Coast headquarters. Oh, you can stand up at your computer, huh? Yes. That makes sense. Right. Look at the view. So that would be the definition of a room with a view. And you actually built this as part of a gourd, what'd you call it? Gourd ammonium. <laughs> gourd ammonium build a pond day. What do we got here? Well, we got a pond waterfall with uh, with two slowways. We've got a two to four thousand gallon power pump on there, and a whole bunch of lights. Gord ammonium, we called it. So uh, about a year after we moved in, it was on my birthday actually. We invited uh, Marcel came over and uh, from Streamworks. Mike was here from Wildwood Waterscapes, and then Dave Boston from um, Island Waterscape all came down, and we did it in a day. We fired up the barbecue, got some beers going, turned on some music. They brought some guys. They brought a little mini excavator back here, and uh, yeah, we knocked it out in a day. How do you use this? Honestly, we uh, in the summertime we're out here, you know, a fair bit in the evenings, particularly. But I'd say we probably enjoy it from inside even more than outside. My office is right there. Our master bedroom is right there. The windows are open. We look out on it. Honestly, I love it at night. It's probably my favorite time in the evening. I, I love the lights. I love looking at it in the evening and enjoying it. This is how we finish a vlog day. And for me to be able to see how the Aquascape teammates live the Aquascape lifestyle is always a pleasure. So uh, thanks for the hospitality. We had a great dinner. And now we're going to spend some time sitting by the waterfalls. I love my job. <laughs>